What is going on everybody? Lil Disney here with another 5M vehicle tutorial. I've been getting a few messages from people from uh, the how to skin a vehicle tutorial that I posted a while back. And uh, basically they're getting an error about the uh, stream size of their vehicles, the assets and stuff like that, saying that's gonna you know lead to texture loss, uh, city bug, streaming isn't great, stuff like that. Big old nasty red error. So today I'm gonna show you how to optimize the reason or the uh, textures in your in your vehicle so that uh, it gets those stream sizes down, runs a lot smoother and keeps people from getting texture loss whenever they're around either that vehicle or several of those vehicles. So just stick around and let's figure this out. All right, so the first thing we got here, actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some prep work. So um, we're gonna start, I always go to my pictures file and you'll see why here in a little bit. And we're gonna go to our pictures folder and uh, let's go over there just real quick. And I make two folders, all right? One's gonna be texture unpack and one's gonna be called texture resize, all right? You can name these whatever you want. I just name them those things because it helps me keep everything straight during the process of doing all this. Uh, obviously, we're going to need open IV. And we're going to go ahead and get that opened up for Windows. And then we're going to make sure that we turn on edit mode. All right, so we're going to need that. And then we're going to need another piece of software called XN Resize. Now, I'm, I'm going to link everything that I mention here down in the description, even the vehicle that we're using, because it's actually a really cool vehicle. Uh, so yeah, we're going to need to use this uh, software called XN Resize. So we're just going to get everything nice and opened up and happy and all of that stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and minimize all of this and go back over to our cars folder. I've, uh, I've actually already loaded in the, uh, the Liberty Charger here uh, from, from the download there. And we're going to go over to our server. And you're gonna see that I tried. I tried starting it a little bit, a uh, little bit ago, and we get this big ugly red error here, saying uh, about texture loss. Streaming isn't great, and it's got, it, basically it uses 141 megs of physical memory right off the bat. So that is not not good. Uh, our our target is gonna be probably around 40 megabytes or less. So let's uh, let's see if we can get this vehicle down to that and uh, go back over here and uh, and also uh, shout out to Furious Designs, the uh, creator of this 2018 Dodge Charger and a huge shout out to GTA Police Mods. If you're looking for some awesome vehicles, uh, obviously 5PD, that's where that's the home of 5PD and all that, go to GTA Police Mods, uh, show the community some love. I'm actually uh, one of their uh, paid supporters on there because I really believe in what they're doing over there. It's a great group of great group of people running the place. A uh, great community to be a part of. So yeah, go over to GTA Police Mods. I'll show, shoot y'all a link down in the description. All right, so let's get started on this little guy. So we're gonna see exactly why our charger is, uh, is, is streaming so high. So if we look right here, it's gonna be the YTD file, which is the texture dictionary file. And currently it's at a packed size of 9,825 kilobytes. Now this is gonna be kind of a, a dead giveaway before you even start a resource on, uh, on how bad that's gonna be once you actually get everything uh, in, the, in the server. Uh, your server unpacks all of those textures and, and it ends up being, you know, Pretty, pretty massive, but we're gonna get this size down pretty easy peasy. So uh, let's go ahead and go into Open IV, and I've got a little folder here that I've made called Projects where I work on all my cars. Uh, if you want to make a folder like this, what you're gonna, gonna going to do is click on your GTA 5 there, and you're gonna click this little Create New Folder icon, and then you can name it whatever you want to. I'm gonna name a new one called Video. That we'll use just for just for giggles here and we've got our video folder down there completely empty folder uh, it's not gonna mess with your core GTA 5 game 
uh, nothing in the game is going to actually even be looking for this so you should be good right there all right uh so yeah going into our video file here or video folder we're going to take our texture dictionary and we're going to just drag that bad boy over into there and uh let's go ahead and minimize that all right up oh, you hear me hear me breaking up <laughs> christmas bulbs over here on gta police mod, police mods okay anyways so we're going to expand this bad boy out and we're going to see all of these textures 199 textures which is a lot of textures but it's okay um so we're going to first thing i'm gonna do is like i'm, I'm gonna get rid of things that i'm really not going to use so we're gonna search out sign and see it's got a sign one sign two really not that huge of a deal uh sign two is just a blank so it's not gonna not gonna really affect anything but i mean if it's got a whole lot of liveries on it the more of those that you get rid of the better it's going to be for you in the long run it's going to knock down that size substantially before we even do the process that we're doing here but you can see this is a 4k 4096 by 4096 texture while that is all nice and all that is honestly way too big uh, anything past about 2k is pretty much just overkill until you i mean like unless you're standing dead ass on the vehicle uh, you're not really going to notice a huge difference anyways so we're going to go down here and we're going to export all textures and we're going to put, export them in the dds format and we're going to find our pictures folder here we're going to choose our texture unpack just choose that folder hit select folder and it's going to go ahead and unpack all of those things into your texture unpack folder we'll go ahead and Pull this over here and open that up so that you can see 199 textures all happy living in your texture unpacked folder all right so we're just going to close this down and then let's see here we're going to go and we're going to delete this so just remember it's called uh i think it's just 18 charger i don't know let's look over here because there's like kind of a weird thing going on there uh so let's see here oh l18 charger okay i just want to make sure there wasn't like a weird weird thing there okay so we're gonna go ahead and delete that ytd we're gonna right click do new texture dictionary and name it exactly the same thing l18 charger all right, that way we got a fresh template to go from there or a fresh, you know, fresh start there. Anyway, so we're going to go into our XN resize and where it says select photos here, we're going to add a folder and we are going to add our texture unpack folder. Select that really quick. It's going to bring up all of those deals there. Now one kind of cool, cool little deal about XN resize is as soon as you open this up, you're gonna see roughly the size that it's gonna unpack to in your server. Um, by the time that your server like you know opens up the file or opens up the textures, all that stuff. So you can see right here, as it was in the uh, in the deal, it's almost 140 megabytes. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our presets here. We're gonna drop down and we're gonna dro drop those all down by 50%. Now that's gonna take everything that's in there. And it's going to downsize it automatically by half. Now you can see just by doing that, we've gone from a stream size of ref roughly around 139 megabytes. And we've dropped that baby down to 34.93, around 35. Um, like I said, our target is going to be 40 or less. So we're going to switch over to our click next here. And we're going to uh, choose our folder here. I've actually got a new folder that I'm using. Uh, so let's go to pictures and texture resize, select that, make sure that's all good. Format, we're gonna make sure that's set same as original. Uh, file name, we're gonna do no change, all that good stuff, preserve metadata. All these options are just gonna stay just like they are here. And then we're going to just hit convert. 
You're gonna see it go hard at work there. All right, so let's close that baby out. And then now if we go into our pictures folder here, uh, there we go, texture resize. You'll see all of the textures here. So we're going to open up our fresh L18 charger YTD and we're going to import and then we're going to go back to our pictures folder here. Make sure that we're selecting our texture resize. Hit the first one, control A to select everything in there. And then we're going to click on open. Now it's going to give us several, it's going to say the following files are not imported. This isn't a huge deal. Don't sweat it. What we're going to do to fix this is we're going to go back to our, uh, we're going to go back Hang on, let's move all this over here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. We're going to go back to our texture unpack and all of the things that it can't import. We're just going to import directly back into there un unaltered from X and resize. So the way that I do this is I just go ahead and I hit select all up here at the top here. And I look for uh, all the different ones. See, we got ALU and we're just going to control click to, uh, un to unselect those. We got ALUS, uh, badges spec, black.dds, uh, blank normal, carbon mesh shader specs. And this is this is the part that is kind of the most uh, most uh, time consuming here. Uh, Chrome.dds. Let's see here, Chrome. I'm sure Chrome S. Yep, Chrome S. Chrome two. Uh, dingy black, dingy black spec, dingy black two, uh, Eagle RSA. Let's see, hold on, which one? Eagle RS, just RS dash, dash A, Eagle RS dash A. There we go. And you're gonna want to make sure that you're actually doing the ones that are, that it says on here, because there's some that are named pretty close to the same thing. So you want to make, you know, real sure that you're, uh, that you're doing the correct one. Anyways, let's go back to uh, leather smooth paint spec, uh, plastic spec, uh, plastic spec interior. Plastic V1 and spec 11. Do, 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 do. Spec 11. All right. Vehicle generic small spec map. <laughs> these are these. This is this is when it gets uh, kind of weird. Okay. Anyways, vehicle generic small spec map. Wheel well. Uh, I wow, see. I almost did wheel well, wheel well spec there, which it's actually one of them. But we're looking for wheel well, and then wheel well spec, and then that looks like all of them. So now that we've got the ones that we want to keep unselected, we're just going to hit delete and hit OK on this, and then we're going to hit import once again. Go back to our pictures folder, choose our texture unpack, uh, Control A to select all of those and open those up and you'll see we are right back at 199 texture files there. So let's go ahead and save that bad boy. And we're going to go back to our charger here, or Liberty charger. We're going to uh, delete the original YTD file and throw our new one in there in its place. Now you can see we went from like 9,000 some odd kilobytes to now a packed, it's 1,768. So we're on the right track here. All right, so let's hop back on over into our server here. I stopped the resource before. Let's go ahead and start that back up. Start Liberty Charger. You're gonna see it is a lot happier with a little uh, blue. And it actually said it's only using 19.5 megs of physical memory for the YTD. So. We are very happy with that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to actually go into the server and we're gonna test it out. Sometimes when you do this, some of the textures will get a little goofy, uh, like your blacks. Uh, sometimes the tires will look a little weird. 
We're just gonna make sure none of that's happening. If none of that's happening, we're good to go. Uh, if that is happening, we're gonna have to go back in, um, open up the original that you downloaded and just kind of play around with it and see which ones we're gonna import back in. Like if the blacks are acting funny, just import back or just delete the black that you put in there and just replace it with the one that was originally with it. Uh, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but it does happen. Let's go ahead and hop into the server here. Wait for this baby to load up. While we're loading up, I will give the shameless plug. If you would like to join Wild West Coast RP, we are a public server. We are a life RP server working on the QB core framework and uh, constantly uh, doing new additions and improvements on the server. Uh, we've got a Discord that I will link down in the description if you would like to come and play and check out some of these super cool cars that we've got in here. So we're going to load in here into the server. But yeah, we are a public server. You are all more than welcome to come in and play and check it out. Uh, even if you're a server dev, uh, come in, check it out, kind of see what we got going on. Maybe get some ideas for your community and feel free to reach out to me in our Discord or in the Lil Disney Discord that I will link down in the description. God, I'm going to have a bunch of links to put down there. Anyway, so we're going to go to the police department here just to make sure we go to the light, right place. And you can see it is nice and uh, snowy in our server because it's just before Christmas and we wanted to kind of do that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do slash car and then L18 charger. Pop that bad boy in. All right, everything looks pretty good so far. This is the unmarked livery here. Uh, nothing looks goofy or any of that. So let's go ahead. I've got a, a small little script that I threw together that allows me to change liveries on the flash. So let's try a slash livery one. Oh, slash livery space two. What the hell? Oh, liver. There we go. All right, so you can see nothing looks weird here. Looks like they kind of did this off of a uh, off of a Canadian deal almost or something. I don't know. Anyways, so our texture looks pretty good there. Everything, but see, you can't you can't even really tell a difference between the 4K and the 2K, and that actually knocks down a lot of that stream size. Uh, just knocking that down, you know, half size, and all the rest of the textures half size. Let's go inside the vehicle here, and it looks like all the textures inside look pretty damn good as well uh yeah so that's gonna be it um if you're looking for a tutorial on how to uh, spawn specific extras in i'll link that down in the description uh, we've also got how to make your own skins in case you're wanting to uh replace the one that's on there and all that good stuff uh, we've also got a tutorial on how to pack all of your vehicles into a single resource that i'll link down in the description but until then, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Uh, once again, feel free to reach out to me if you're having any problems at all, like the goofy textures and stuff like that, and I will give you as much help as I possibly can. Until I see you guys next time, peace.